Steam blocking, fun and edgy. I found steam blocking works well for just about any fiber. With the exception of certain fibers which can stretch and droop when steamed. Acrylic and bamboo, I'm looking at you. Steam block your gauge swatch first to be safe. Steam is hot. It can burn you. Use caution with steam. Blocking is a term meaning to fit something to a desired shape as in blocking a hat or forming a hat to the shape of a hat block. Traditionally, steam was used to soften the hat so it could be formed to the wooden block. I use steam to relax my knit fabric so I can block it into shape. Blocking accomplishes two things. It forms the piece to a predetermined shape. This is what most of us think of when we block, making our piece conform to a shape. But just as important, yet subtle, is the second reason why we block. Blocking teaches the stitches to share with each other. Big stitches share with the smaller ones, which leads to a lovely, even fabric. The trick is that steam relaxes the fiber. The stitches then ease into the fabric you want. Unblocked fabric isn't very pretty. It's uneven, the tension looks bad, and the stitches aren't sitting up. It needs to relax. So let's send it to a spa. The steamer I use is a Skunsi. I love it. It has nozzles that direct the steam in different ways. And it can do hundreds of cool tricks. How many times have your circular needles looked like this? Pretty messy, huh? We'll just take one of those circulars, lay it out flat, use the steamer on the cable, and steam those kinks away. Look at that go. You'll be the envy of your knitting group. Or how about a delicious latte drink? A little bit of milk, a cup, your scunsy, and it's better than Starbucks. Yum. Yum. I use the fabric steaming nozzle the most. Here's how I block. I lay the piece I'll be blocking face down on a covered surface. I inundate the fabric with steam. I pull the fabric widthwise and I pull the fabric lengthwise. Then I turn it over and repeat on the right side of the fabric. I end by laying the piece in the desired shape. It's important to allow the piece to cool and dry thoroughly in the desired shape. Just like when you blow dry your hair. You know how you have to hold the brush until your hair cools? Well, it's like that. There's a theory that you shouldn't block ribbing, but I feel it's possible. Fully steam the piece, pull it widthwise, then lengthwise. Always end by pulling lengthwise in the direction of the rib. Turn it over and repeat on the opposite side. Widthwise, lengthwise. I give special attention to the edges when worked in a special stitch. Allow it to rest until it cools and dries about three minutes. When blocking lace, use this method. Stretch the fabric to the desired position while it's warm and damp. When lace first comes off the needles, it lacks a certain charm, but a little steam can pep it right up. The next step is stretching widthwise and lengthwise. Be sure to steam both sides. Lay it flat and shoot some steam onto it again, then pull it into place. Let it dry flat until it's entirely cool. 
Because the lace is totally relaxed from the steam, you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. You can take it to the Grand Canyon. You can take it to the park. You could take it on the Lusitania. But most important, it will stay the way you lay it out until it cools and dries with no pins.